What's up guys, Arctic here, bringing you guys some Battlefield 4 gameplay. This is a FAMAS gameplay um, using, I believe, Red Dot Optic, which has been um, my favorite by far for almost all of my weapons. Uh, I don't know if I have the suppressor on this one. I might have a suppressor and maybe an ergo grip. Uh, I actually switched from the FAMAS. I think I had 331 kills with it or something like that. Uh, before I decided to uh, switch over and the FAMAS is it can be good it really reminds me of the MX4 um, the engineer starting rifle uh, has a very high rate of fire um, like I said it can be good but uh, more often than not I, I don't know there's just something about the FAMAS I don't know if it's the recoil on it um, I'm not sure what it is exactly but it it throws me off for whatever reason I got taken out there by that shotgunner and I just could not get into it um, and over the course of the next couple weeks you guys are going to see me breaking down a lot of weapons uh, and talking about them quite uh, extensively um, I've obviously I've been uh, if you guys have been paying, paying attention kind of working a lot of different guns on uh, my plan as I mentioned earlier in a previous video is to uh, basically rack up anywhere between 250 to a uh, thousand kills depending on how much I like the weapon um, the weapon I have the most kills with currently is the scar H I've talked quite a bit about that easily my favorite rifle so far uh, I am maybe two med kit ribbons away from unlocking the ace uh, 23 which has been uh, just absolutely ridiculous <laughs> and the majority of matches that I played for domination lots and lots of players using uh, the ace 23 and uh, I mean for obvious reasons I think it's probably other than the scar it's probably the best option to go with um, and the FAMAS in comparison to uh, at least the Scar H just doesn't seem like it holds up. Uh, the fire rate is a lot faster than the Scar H so it feels like you're uh, reloading even more so. Uh, you have 26 rounds in the mag. Recoil I'm going to say goes kicks up and uh, to the right. So uh, to counteract that you have to really drag uh, down and to the left when you're firing. Uh, but ma the majority of the time I just feel like I'm just burning ammo and uh, Metro happens to be, or Metro, not Metro, Operation Locker, um, <laughs> I have Metro on my mind, but Operation Locker seems like it's a map that works well with the FAMAS based on the fire rate and the engagements that you have with players. Um, the majority of the time, like you're in those corridors and hallways, um, and if you, only time I, I think I really don't like it is if you get those long lines of sight at uh, uh, outside at sea. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm not too fond of shooting uh, the FAMAS out there. But other than that, I mean, it feels pretty good on these tight quarter maps. Uh, once you start getting into uh, the long lines of sight and uh, open area sometimes, open space, it can get kind of, uh doesn't feel as good. Uh, Power-wise, I, I want to say it's uh, in the 40 range. Sounds about right. Might be 30. Uh, I have to look again at the stats. I'll probably include those in the description on the video if you're interested in using the FAMAS. Like I said, 300 something kills. And I'm just trying to get um, as much experience, like I said, with all the weapons as possible. Uh, the other thing I kind of notice uh, with the FAMAS is that, uh, and this could pr this is probably a hit detection thing, there's times when I feel like I'm aimed right on them. And I had this more with the FAMAS than any of the, any of the other weapons. But, uh, um, I'm not dealing damage and, and um, I don't know what it I, I've seen a lot of people talking about the hit registration so I, I guess that's what I'm gonna chalk it up as um, it doesn't really happen on this particular gameplay I'm pretty much ripping it up um, and in this server but I've seen it in a couple of other servers so uh, I don't know like I said if it's this specific weapon maybe there's a bug with it or it is actually the hit registration but uh, you know I've, I've kind of run some tests in servers where I switch my weapon and I don't have that issue uh, with the FAMAS um, or I'm sorry with another weapon when using the FAMAS in that same server and it's not registering some of the hits so again that's it's neither here nor there but it's just something that I kind of observe with the weapon um, you know I'm interested to see if the, it's just me or if uh, this is like a hit registration problem which I've seen people talking about 
or um, you know there's something actually wrong with the weapon uh, that aside what you guys are going to probably see in over uh, like I said I was going to talk about the guns over the next couple weeks probably see a lot more uh, breakdowns uh, similar to this but more I think a little bit more in depth about how to shoot where to position yourself with certain rifles lines of sight um, and you know positional advantage uh, kind of similarly to uh, my tips and tactics video for uh, zone defense and why it's important oh, I hate spawning and dying on teammates tip pro tip do not spawn on your teammates in uh, domination unless you absolutely are positively sure that there's no one else around because I end up burning so many lives sometimes when I uh, I think I'm just quickly trying to uh, you know spawn in and get back into the action I'm not really paying attention um, unless I am in try hard mode and then <laughs> then I'm a little bit more um, weary of where I'm spawning and see here we're in out the the um, sea area outside in that snow and I didn't particularly like it. I think I spawned on this guy to try to wrap around at the back of A. Um, then I actually like taking this route um, every now and again because uh, people don't seem to cover, at least when I play, they don't seem to, seem to cover that particular um, entry way to A a whole lot. It's more so this area where I'm at right now and uh, um, at times it could be at, at that B uh, back spawn area because I, I think it's basically because of the visibility that you have being upstairs versus downstairs um, and I think when you're downstairs you feel kind of uh, trapped so uh, just some observations that I've had on uh, Operation Locker when I'm playing Domination and, and then ironically enough it kind of plays similarly you get a good training um, feel oh there is there's some of that ripping it up with the FAMAS and that's that fast fire rate right there um, and those guys weren't expecting that it's able to get basically almost a triple right there I uh, got the guy in front of me then killed the two guys capturing um, the point oh, and I was out of ammo I was raging pretty hard right there because I was upset at myself I had that guy lined up, and I was just gonna, and I was, I didn't reload, um, so, yeah, that was just a complete fail. I uh, kind of lost train of thought of what I was saying, but I, um, I believe I was on, on uh, the, I guess the map layout of, of Metro and how it uh, kind of flows well uh, from a small stage to a larger stage and preparing you for. I threw that way too far. But preparing you for um, the larger conquest matches or obliteration or uh, rush based on how uh, the layout is. I guess rush really wouldn't matter because it uh, gets sectioned off. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I like the FAMAS for this map. I can't really recommend it for too many others unless you want to uh, try your hand at, at kind of running around. I mean, you can not run again really well with the weapon, so it seems like it would work for domination. I just haven't put up the stats that I have with some of the other weapons. And it might just be my, my pathing still for the for the FAMAS is, isn't quite there yet on Dom or uh, that I just need to spend a little bit more time with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And uh, until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and be sure to subscribe for future Battlefield videos on my channel. Catch you later.